So, if you've seen my previous video on Konitsugame, Path of the Goddess, you would know that I had been invited to the Capcom offices to try this before the demo was released. This is the first time anything like that has ever happened to me, and I was so excited, so nervous, but it were awesome. They were awesome. Thank you so much, Capcom, for the invites. I'd love this game. The way that it was described to me, I was a bit dubious about it. I'm not going to lie to you. This is an honest, honest uh, review and um, opinion of the game. I'd never played the uh, tower defense kind of games before, so I was a bit nervous and I was like, will I like it? I hope I do because I love Capcom. I love their style of games. Uh, I'm a big fan of Resident Evil, big fan of Monster Hunter. Um, so I really, 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 really wanted to enjoy this game. And I did. I did. I love this game so much. It was absolutely awesome. So do you get the uh, the strategy side of things? You get that in this game where you're strategically putting down your NPCs, the villages that you, uh, you you purge, and you can sit back and relax and just watch them do their magic. But you also control a main character called Soa. And this is the selling point for me, guys. I say it all the time to everyone when I talk about this game. Uh, you get to run around. You get to run around and you can hack and slash. You can do your special abilities. You can run around, play it as a solo game if you want put everyone back if you want if you just want to take control you can play it that way if you want that's absolutely risky because the thief the enemies are very very tough in this game once they gang up on you so we're, we're blending the action the strategy into a game that i didn't think would be something i was interested in but i'm 100 percent interested in this the demo has now dropped for Kunitsugame, Path of the Goddess. I'm going to show you a video of the first couple of levels in this, and I'm going to talk you through it, how to play the game, and how I played the game, how I think when I am setting up my uh, my fights. Just before I get into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. We are so close to 500. Your sub will matter. Again, thank you so much, Capcom, for inviting me to play Kunitsugame, Path of the Goddess, Enjoy the demo, guys. Right. Let's check the demo out then. Here we go. Turn the sound down a little bit. This is Yoshiro, and we are healing her. This is what we do with the rest of the villagers we find. I'll run through it for you as we go through it. The tutorials will pop up, but I'll also explain a little bit more detail uh, as we play through this demo for you guys. This is Kunitsugame, Path of the Goddess. Thank you so much Capcom for giving me first-hand experience of the game before the demo was released. Absolutely unreal. Absolutely unreal. Here are the controls here, guys. And we are playing on PlayStation 5. So I can, when I do my tutorials, I will mention. Okay, so we need to clear these villages. Okay, these areas on this mountain uh, from the defilement. So we've got to purge them, like they said here. We're holding circle down. This opens a map. We collect these crystals here. Okay, so we collect these crystals. These crystals we use for carving a path for Yoshiro to get to the end of the um, end of each level. And also we use the crystals to upgrade any villagers we purge and uh, give them different roles as well. From what I've seen so far, we've got woodcutter and we've got archers. Okay, so we're just cleansing everything here, healing with rations. So and the villagers can be fully healed with one ration. Okay, so this is basically, if anyone needs healing, I always forget this as well, guys, you can move the camera around with the right stick. So these villagers here, we purge, we purge them, okay? So we can assign these guys roles, okay? So it pops up here anyway. What are we doing? We're going to assign this guy a role, press circle. There are more roles to have. But we've only unlocked these ones here. Okay. So we're going to make them a woodcutter. Using the uh, 50 points we had up there. 
Okay, and we can use the R1 command. It's telling us to use the R1 command to position them around the map. Like so. Okay, so the day and night cycle. This is very important, guys. This is very, very important. So below me here, we're currently in day. Okay, so when it hits sundown, that means that the enemy will attack. Every sundown, the enemy will attack, and they attack from this gate here. So basically, the sometimes a level will have more than one gate, uh, so you'll have to go through half the level, fight fight the enemies, and then another half a level to fight the other enemies. Uh, we're going to make this guy a woodcutter as well, so we've got two woodcutters now. But we still have until sundown to collect more, more crystals here, and villagers as well. Okay, so we don't have 50 yet, so we can't upgrade that character. Okay, so I never thought I would be playing a action strategy kind of game. Tower defense, I think people kept calling it when we went to uh, the Capcom offices. Uh, and there's something unique about this where I'm actually controlling this character. That's the selling point for me. That's the selling point for me. Uh, we're going to move this guy. We're going to move this guy over here as well. Uh, we don't have to be right next to the person as well. We could just press a cross on the D-pad and we can move the characters here. Or L1 and R1. Okay, so we've still got a bit of time here. We haven't purged the whole... Keep running past this. We haven't purged the whole, whole area yet. Get as many crystals as possible because we need these crystals to carve the path as well. So it's not just about upgrading the characters. So it's telling us here to lead Yoshiro to the Tori gates to Persian defilement of this area. What I'm going to do, we're going to make sure we get enough. There's another villager here. We'll grab this guy. We'll, should we give him a different role? Let's give him this role. Let's give him that role. So remember, the crystals that we use... We can't use for Yoshiro when we're carving the path. Okay, so once you clear everything of the defilement, Persian Nera defilement, a box will open, a shrine box, and you'll get talismans from it. So the shrine box is up here. That's when you know you've cleared the whole area. You pick up the, the box, and we get a talisman out of it. We get the leaping fish. Which is slightly increases so as maximum health. We're obviously going to increase this. Beautiful. So it is this main character that we're controlling. Okay, guys. So everything is all done. We've got all the villagers. Now we just need to carve a path. Now is 179 orbs, crystals, uh, enough? No, it isn't. Okay. So what we need then, what we need is to get Yoshiro to the gates. We can't do it yet, so we're going to have to have an, a, another round of um, of monsters. So, we're, we're halfway through. It is almost sundown. Yoshiro is not going to reach the gate in time, so we don't want to we don't want to make her um, progress as such towards the gate. So we're going to leave her back a bit. We're going to set our stall out because we're going to fast forward. We're going to fast forward the the time. So hold an L1 and triangle like it said then in that tutorial. Okay, we've got our we've got our team, the villagers here. They're all ready. So now it is sundown. This is what happens. They attack. Here they are. We're already ready and set. We're going to protect Yoshiro. But we're also going to move this guy here. We're going to move him. I think if we move him here, he creates a barrier. But then also, I want this guy here. I want this guy like here. And we'll have this guy. We'll have this guy here. A bit further back. But we can, we can attack as well. We've got different combinations here. We've got combos, triangle, square, triangle, square, square, triangle, square, 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 triangle. These are all different combinations that we can do uh, for Sower. So it tells you here, 
to do a the combo. So that just that just teaches you that. Okay, so we can't we need to move everyone back because we can't attack when they are red. When they are red, we can't attack. So we're gonna we're gonna move these guys back a bit. Because they get injured. They get injured while they're in the red. Like an invulnerability state. As they cross in the gate. Okay, toxic miasma from Tory Gate. So that's basically what we're saying here. That's we stand near there, then we're gonna get injured. Okay, we obviously want to get the there we go. So as we saw earlier. Yoshiro is here. She hasn't made it to the uh, thing yet. We haven't carved the path, so she's staying there. These guys are on an absolute killing spree, so we can leave them to it. But the fact that we can hack and slash our way is absolutely awesome. No one made it through. We've got the sides covered as well. And we're almost halfway towards daybreak. Maybe move uh, this guy. Maybe move this guy like over here. Um, also, if you can go, you go up to a guy. If they need healing, you can see this little yellow strip by them. That will go red. That will go red if they take any damage. There's a little barrier there. That barrier. This guy here the, it creates a barrier to slow everyone down. And you see, top top right corner, we've got 215 there. Look at that barrier. They all went gold because he slowed them down. You see me here. Okay, this guy here. He's injured. I'm injured as well. But we're not dead. So we can take a few more hits. Before we heal. Try and do some combos so we can get a couple of them in one go there we go so it's almost daybreak now as you can see down the bottom it's almost daybreak and then once that happens right there we go let's grab those this is the last chance to get a load of orbs as well go guys and then once they're out of position and there's no more enemies they run back into their own positions there we go okay so it's day uh, it's daybreak now and look at how many crystals we got now 359 these guys absolute stallions right so we can click on this guy here and you can see just below me here it says heal so we can use some orbs to heal the guy. There we go. So now he's full health. We could check everyone else. Everyone else didn't really take any uh, didn't take any damage. You can see them just to the uh, to the left of them. Uh, what ability they are, woodcutters, and how much damage that is. Uh, how do you pronounce this guy here? I don't know how you pronounce that. <laughs> But uh, but there he is. Um, there there are some things like these thing here. These come back. You can get extra orbs by that way. But if we hold circle in front of Yoshiro, we can then take her to the Tory Gate to cleanse this. There we go. And again, there's nothing else. We've got everything. We've got the talisman. There's nothing else here to do on this level here. If this is more for placing the characters in a strategic manner where we are going to fight this gate okay so before we purify it we had them we had the gate here we had them set around here so they couldn't go down this path they couldn't go down this path and they couldn't go up here either to get to yoshiro okay so at the end of each level we purify the gate we get a little scene here from yoshiro she does a purifying dance 
bit like Yuna from Final Fantasy X. There we go. That means this area has now been purified of the defilement. And we're going to scroll here. There we go. Defeat 50 Seath with Soa and assign villagers two or more different roles. So we've got some achievements there. What's this one here? Defeat 50 Seaths using the villagers. So you could go back and do this level and not get involved and just let the villagers attack um, to get the the third achievement on this level. All right, let's go next here. Happiness and anger increases the villagers' attack power, but decreases so is attack power. So that's pretty cool because you know that the villagers are going to be more um, powerful. And if you're controlling your character slower, then you can you can worry about yourself in a way uh, that helps that helps the villagers out I, I think that's a really cool one that is okay miyoko pass that is done this demo by the way guys this is available right now for you guys to play i'm playing on the ps5 this is also a xbox uh, day one release on game pass as well so if you've got game pass grab kanitsugame path of the goddess So we've just made a base in this level. This level that we have just purified, which has now become our base. Here we go. The places you purify can be used as bases to prepare for your next battle. That is awesome. That's such an awesome idea. Look at... You recognise this area where we've just... Just had a, uh, had a battle. Guys, the most important part of this game, if you don't take anything away from this... Uh, video this has to be the one thing you take away please this is the most important thing you ready you hold circle next to a dog <laughs> you can pet it you can pet it there we go there are other animals that you can do as well you can interact with the these are the villagers we just saved um, let's see if there is there you go there's a deer here. Makes a noise at this. We get this really calm music, like the calm before the storm. Um, do you remember up here, the shrine was up here that we opened? So everything is all kind of tranquil here. This is pretty cool. Right, so what we can do is, if we go into the tent... A tutorial might pop up in a bit. So is in here and Yoshira is in here. This is where we equip all our upgrades. Super guards are sacred sword guards that contain unique powers. Okay, so this is like a, um, I suppose in in computer games terms, it's probably like a special ability, a limit break for Final Fantasy fans. Uh, that is, this is what it is. So we build up the uh, required energy and then release a special uh, special ability. There were the uh, there are some sieves that have a resist gauge. You can stun the enemies by fully depleting the gauge using certain attacks. Attacks with abilities drain at the resist gauge are marked with that. Okay. So this, perform two consecutive ground-based attacks. While not very powerful, this move is easy to perform and has a short charging period. Depletes the enemy's resist gauge. So that's what the that's what this ability is mainly doing. Helping us deplete the enemy's resist gauge. Okay, so we've got some scrolls here. You can tame by them at the base and select in the Imaki Gallery. Okay, so we've got these things here. This one saves. This is a save. This one is your upgrades. And this one here. We've got sweets here. Okay, so the sweets. We can go with some details. I 
don't know what we do with sweets. I think we just... Um... We unlock these different sweets. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? That does look good. Uh, let me know in the comments, guys. Let me know in the comments what these sweets do. I just literally... Well, we went in there. We pressed triangle. I think there's just different sweets to unlock. Uh, okay, so the upgrade was the middle one. The, the biggest part of this area. Uh, we could upgrade the villagers and the rolls as well. So, anytime... Let's say we click on the woodcutters here. Anytime we create a woodcutter... It will have these upgrades with it as well. So if we want a woodcutter to have slightly increased maximum health, it requires five, um, five, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> it's the it's the purple bags. It's the purple bags, but it says 20, not crystals. So the crystals are for during the actual, um, um, the levels, but it's the crystal bags. Okay, so we upgrade this. Oh, Musabi. Okay. Musubi. Musubi. There we go. Musubi. Absolutely butchered it. But there you go. So that's what we want. We want more health. They can last longer, obviously, with more health for the um, the further we go on the quest line. Do we want to give it more attack power? Of course we do. Of course we do. We want to give it more attack power. And the next one can now attack while running towards the thief and chase after any that try to escape. So, they normally kind of stay in one place uh move forward a little bit if they need to and then retreat back into their thing so if anything's behind them they don't really go after them so they could chase them but it, depl uh, right, it depletes the enemy's resist gauge so this helps massively this melts half uh this this massively helps with the resist gauge that we need to do especially if we come up to a boss as well uh i think this is quite good but we also need to have a look at the other role we've got do we want to give this more health? And slightly increases the range of the barrier as well. Uh, increases the amount of time the thief are slowed. That's pretty cool. I think for the next one, we should um, help with the resist gauge. We've got an ability for the resist gauge. Now we've got this that's going to help us as well. So the woodcutters are absolutely going to be tanky. Look at them. So we've got three out of four, five, six. Six there. Six upgrades. Uh, down here, we've got talismans. So any talismans we find that we got in the um, in in the little level that we've just had, so slightly increases that. That's what we've got. We equipped it at the time. We got something at the end of the level as well. Now the talismans are linked to numbers rather than this is what talisman you got. This is what you've got here. This is what you've got here. Um, it was something about so is health. Increases the villagers' attack power, but decreases the uh, so is attack power. There we go. That's what we want. So our attack power goes uh, down, but the villagers' attack powers go up. So the woodcutters, definitely, definitely something that I can help with. Um, the sweet's gone. Okay. So there's not really anything else you could do here. You can look here, but we haven't really got any emblems here. So this is it. Okay, let's go to stage select. Let's have a look at the stage and see what's next. Okay, there's Miyoko Pass. You have the ability, uh, there you go, you can tell us to go back to tutorials. You have the ability to go back to your base or play the level again if you wanted to get the third thing, which was um, 50, uh, uh, 50, what was it? How, how would you word it? The villagers get 50 kills of the thief. There we go, that's it. So if we wanted to get that one, we could play it again or we could jump into the next part, which this is a boss level. It's an ominous presence. This is a challenge. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got our people here. So the oppressive presence of a powerful thief is emanating from up ahead. So this is this is basically going to be a boss battle. These are the people we have saved in the last round. We saved four people. We've got to assign them roles again, guys. Okay, so we don't have enough to assign them all roles. So there's a chest here that starts off. It gives us twenty crystal. Uh, sorry, two hundred crystals. Some rations as well. Okay, so. We're going to give these woodcutters. I'm going to give one of these the, the other roll. Because he might be able to... Oh, we haven't got enough. We haven't got enough. 
We ain't got enough crystals. Okay. This guy's going to have to be a... Uh, we're going to have to... <laughs> we're going to have to go in with, uh, with just a few of them. Okay, let's go in. This is the boss area. Tiny, uh, tiny arena. We've got one guy. We've got one guy, okay, guys, who doesn't have any roles. We're going to have to hold him back. We're going to have to hold him back. I guess we get some crystals from this. We can upgrade it. We only need 50, okay? We'll make him another woodcutter. Now she's in. We're all in. What we want to do before we step through here, we want to we want to position our characters. Uh, like this guy here. This guy's a nobody. So we're gonna we're gonna have him hand back. We're gonna have a hand back here. I hope for some uh, some crystals. Okay. So we've got that there, and then we've got us. We've got us running around. So I've just stepped through the veil. Here we go. It's the big boss. Oh, look at the design. The design on this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's disgusting. Some kind of whip on his hands. So if we press L R two now, we've knocked some of his resist gauge off. Circle is to dodge. Make sure we're doing our combos. Right, there is a thing here where if we press L one, and where we normally move him around and stuff like that. We've got the option just below me here to either send everyone to defend or send everyone to attack. So we're going to get everyone to attack. We'll get them to retreat. There we go. So this just tutorial is just chopped up there. This, uh, we're going to get them to retreat. Uh, if we hold down... What button is it? L1. We can use our rations to heal there. So we need to we need to get them to defend. So they're going to come back. Oh, these guys are here. Right. So we've got enough crystals now to assign this person a role. So where is he? Where is he? Here he is. Assign him a role. We're going to make him a woodcutter. And then we are going to. Get him in. Let's get him involved. Make sure, make sure to roll out the way. Okay. So now the barriers worked. It stopped. It stopped the boss. That's what I was hoping for. Okay, got me. He got me. Oh, it's knocked me out. Oh, I th it's not me out. Okay, so when you get knocked out, this is good. This is good for the demo explanation. There's a short period of time. So we'll enter a spirit state where the health is fully depleted, but recover after a certain amount of time. So we're relying. We can. We can still tell everyone to uh, to defend. But as it's only the boss, we'll just make them all out attack. You see the uh, you see the red gauge just above me. That's the time until I come back. Right, now we're back. Now we used our R2 ability for the resist gauge. There we go, so it's almost down. Right, now we can attack. You see the, the gauge at the top there? It's almost down, it's almost down. We're almost there, guys. There it is, got it.
Oh, Yoshiro's doing her bit. GG's, guys. GG's. There we go. Then we're going to pick this up. So that area is cleansed. That mask is for archers. So now we can create some archers. We've got woodcutters, archers, and your barrier man. Okay, we've got, uh, we got a plaque. This is something that we can look at in a bit. There we go. So that was the bit that we didn't have any plaques earlier at the very start of our base. We've got five Masubi. What they're called. So here. So we've got to beat this boss within one minute and... That's impossible with where we are right now. So this allows you to go back once you've upgraded everyone. You can go back and replay levels and bosses um, to get that achievement there. So there we go. That boss is done. We've got Kakishi Grove here. Uh, Kakishi, sorry. Um, right, so we can go back to the base before we jump into this next level. Before we jump into the next level, we'll go to the base. We can now look here, as there was a plaque, you can view the uh, Emma plaques here. This learns more about the mountain. And this is obviously the boss. This tells you all about the boss that we just fought. But also, we can jump back into here. There's cake there again. Um, we can jump back into here and upgrade our woodcutter if we want, or the archers. So now we've got the archer mask. We can upgrade the archer so we can increase health. That's what we're going to do here. So play around with these. What is awesome with this as well is you can you can undo the upgrades at no cost. At no cost, okay? So we've just upgraded that. And we got our five uh, Wasubi back. We are going to upgrade it again at no cost as well. So some games that you play... They, there is certain costs where you have to pay money. You'll probably have to play crystals and stuff like that uh, if this was other types of games. But this one, there is no cost, okay? There's no cost whatsoever. Uh, so if we had put any points into this one, we could have took it out if we didn't really want to. Want, these are more aggressive. These are more aggressive. This slows it down so that we can get more hits in. So it is more tactical um, when you think about that. Uh, Talismans-wise, did we get any more talismans? Let's have a look. So we've had that one. I still don't know if there's a way to sort, like, just talismans you've attained only. No, we didn't. Okay, so we've only just got the... Um, because we didn't cleanse it as such, we've only just got those. Okay, let's jump into the second level then, guys. This is the demo for Kunitsugame, Path of the Goddess. Um, thank you for watching guys if you haven't already please like and subscribe to the YouTube uh, channel please save four villagers and overcome the defilement in Kakishi Grove I'm sorry if I am butchering these names it's all new to me it's all new to me here's this guy <laughs> he's having some trouble isn't he He's like, help me. Help me. Not much talking. Okay. So, again, we've got to get Yoshiro to the Tory Gate by collecting these crystals. And... That's just basically setting up everything. That's, that's setting up your, your villagers. Ready for the fight. Don't forget to grab these jars as well, because in the jars, we've got items. Okay, here's a little... We'll purge this one here. Nothing there. We'll jump off here. Here's a villager. We'll grab this villager. We're going to assign him a roll of woodcutter to start with. So this woodcutter has been upgraded, as you saw earlier. 
Um, okay, let's purge this. Wild animals and rations. Animals affected by the defilement can be purified by striking them. In return, they would drop rations. So rations are very, very important. Because that heals us, that heals the villagers as we are going along. Here's another veiled villager. We will make him a we'll make him an archer. We're gonna make sure we've got two archers on this level. I'll explain why in a bit. Okay, there's the animals. This is the animals they're on about. So if we hit this animal, it's now dropped the ration. Oh, we missed that one. Okay. The deer. There we go. We've got another ration. We've got six rations. Okay, we're going to make this one an archer as well. So we've got two archers, a woodcutter. So it said to us that we had to find four people. There we go. We'll, uh, we'll do that. We're not even halfway yet. It's not sundown yet. Okay, what am I missing? Where am I missing? There it is. Barriers will hold the thief at bay, but they will be destroyed if you take too much damage from the thief. Okay, so we've got some barriers here. The guy at the start was your man who is going to sort these barriers out. I think this is the last one. There you go, it's the last one. And the talisman will open. There we go, guys. telling us to carve a path first before we can do anything else. I kind of don't really want to. Because I don't think 336 crystals is enough. Increase the attack power and movement speed of villagers within range of a period of time. Within range? What does that mean? Oh, okay. So this is instead of our special ability. This is our R2. This is our R2 one. Okay, that's brilliant. Right. So, okay, here's the Tory gate. This is going to this is going to um spawn the enemies. Right. So, if I have an archer up here, is another archer. We're going to have an I'm going to have an archer down here. I'm going to have a woodcutter with me here. Yeah, uh, we've only got 3. We've only got three. On this level, there are four people to collect. But we haven't got a fourth person to grab yet, which tells me there is going to be another part. Yeah, there's gonna be another part. Okay, so we're just gonna we're gonna move her a little bit. Look at the deers here. Let's move Yashiri to here. There's Yashiro. She we're gonna we're gonna have her here. So in case they come down there. We're gonna fast forward as well. Everyone is in their positions. We've got the archer up there. We've got these guys down here. Okay, let's fast forward time, guys. Ready for sundown. Yashiro's gonna be safe. Oh, they are talking. So that's what we've done with the position in there. He's run forward to attack. The archer has got this side covered here. We could change these on the fly, remember, guys. We could change them on the fly. So they're not set there. Once they're set there, it doesn't mean that you can't move them ever again. But the, honestly, guys, the selling point for me is running around with Sora. This is like we can literally hack and slash our way to the end. So this is basically what I say when they're when they're red. I mean, we ca they can't be touched. So it's, there's no point. There's no point putting them right on top. Right, we need to check these for their for their health. They're fine. He's going to be fine because he's up there. He's just an archer. 
What's happening with this guy down here is that they're throwing stuff at him straight away. So we can heal him in a bit. I want to try and protect him. We'll pop a quick heal. But we're also going to heal this guy. Okay, so if we go to him and heal. There we go, now he's healed. Is this someone? We've also got to watch the path as well. No one snuck round. These guys are just go straight for the archer. So maybe move the archer back a bit. Let's move him like here. Move him here. I'll cover the path. Let's see how they play it now. Yeah, they might have just been too close. Heal again. Because we're getting battered because I'm standing in the uh, I'm standing in that little the, the purpley bit there. Just a bit longer, guys. He said. We're almost done. There we go. GGs, guys. So we've got 400 orbs now. This is definitely going to carve a path. Okay. Now it's daybreak. It's over. It's over now. So we're going to carve a path. Will we get there in time? Will we get there in time? Yes, we will. Okay, so what we're going to do is fast forward it. Yoshiro is going to get to this toy gate here. Fingers crossed. Where are you? She ain't going to get there in time. Well, I've told her to stop. We're going to have to have another fight, guys. We're going to have to have another fight because Yoshiro did not get there in time. We can't tell her to go back. We can only tell her to stop. So we have to be more... Te uh... I'm going to bring this archer down. I know he's not getting hit, but I'm going to bring him down here. So at least they stop attacking. They, they stop attacking this guy here. But Yoshiro is not in a good place. <laughs> Remember, we've got less attack power, but they've got more. Uh, I've got my ability, which we could pop. We could pop the ability. Right, they're in the area, so now they've got more attack power for a certain amount of time. Which means they might they might even one shot people. Like that. Look at that. There's some one shots there from the archers. This guy here is just going to protect Yoshiri. There you go. So Yoshiri hasn't actually been hit. But she's right there. You've got to protect the goddess. Right, we're looking at everyone's health as we go next to them as well. Their healths are fine. I mean, what we could do, we could change this guy to an archer. So now we just change him to an archer. He doesn't have to move. He can just shoot like everyone else. So we've got three archers on the go now. We've got me slashing away.
He's getting hit a lot more now he's an archer though. Right. You see he's getting hit he's getting hit more because he's an archer. Because they're they're throwing stuff at the archers. I'll heal myself. We'll heal this guy. So that's that's our rations, that's our heals. This guy needs a heal. But it is almost daybreak. Oh, oh, what was that move? There we go, a little sneak. That should be it. That's it. Now we can tell her to move. We can't heal. Let me see if there's any animals around here. Just quickly so we can prepare for the, the next fight. Are there any more animals? I think we purge them both. Yeah, just two animals. Oh, there we go. See if there's something in the pot. Okay, she reached it. Let's purify this gate. I didn't speed up time then because I wanted to look around for um, other stuff. Okay, so see this little orb that we've got here? We need to keep this orb in the middle where that emblem is by using the left stick. By using the left stick there. There we go. So, but that is only part one of this area. We need to grab these. They are quick. Right, there's, there's a ration there. I missed it. It's like they knew I needed some rations. GG's, GG's Capcom. But while we're up here, we might as well do this. Now we got three. We got three rations there. Grab the pots as well, because you never know what you're going to get out of them. Okay, here's the other villager. So there was four villagers we needed to get. So it says rescue four villagers. Carpenters can be summoned to repair broken contraptions. So there's a carpenter from the very start of this level. Okay, there's another rations. We're good. We're on four rations now. We're going to play this a little bit smarter than we did last time. Okay, anything up here? Okay, so those obstacles, we could tell our villagers to go and help out and clear some obstacles. We could fast forward time if we want to, uh, if we want to do it. There's a limit to how many crystals and rations you can hold at one time. Uh, you can exceed whatever. So this is just for the level. Then after this level, see we've gone over 500 now. So the limit is 500. When we finish this level, we will only have 500 crystals. Whatever we have left over doesn't really count. I'm trying to grab that. Okay, it says there's one more left. Oh, here he is. So now we've got them all. The shrine is up there. The shrine is behind the structure that we're trying to break down. So we can speed up time. There you go. Now they've got rid of it. Let's see if there's another ration here. Okay, so we're on five. That's beautiful. Here's a talisman. Demon seat slightly increases the villagers maximum health. That's what we want. We want that Yeah, so we can only equip two at the minute um, My maximum health not that fussed about I'll just have to play it smarter 
Okay, so it, it's now saying to us we've got to get Yoshiro to the gate. Okay, this guy here is creating a barrier. We need to get him. Uh, I don't think we're going to have another barrier in time. Okay, we haven't assigned this person a role. What do we do? We want another archer? Do we want another woodcutter? Do we want something to slow them all down? I think we've got the three archers. Let's have a woodcutter. Okay, the woodcutter, he can be here. The archer. We're going to have the archer like over here on this path. So he's covered that bit there. Uh, we're going to have another archer, but this archer is going to be like here. Or oh, we could have the archer like. Yeah, we can have. And then we'll have the third archer like behind here. So he's protected by this little barrier. Okay. And then there's me running around. We're not going to move uh, Yoshiro. We're not going to move her at all. Because it is now. Where's this guy here? Why's he stood there? Right, these flying enemies, the archers can get them, or we can do a combo. We can do a combo. I think it's square squared. No. Is it. Okay, square triangle. And then that gets the uh, that gets the flying the flying enemies. Like that. There you go. We could wait for them to come. Right, so you can see on the map down the bottom, you got the map there, you can see where the archers are there, the woodcutter is here. I think we've got a good we've got a good position here. This barrier here is a protection barrier. We've also got uh, right. What I could do, because of our special ability of because of our special ability of um, increasing the power of everyone else, we could bunch them all together. Okay, so this guy here. Someone needs healing. This guy. There we go. I couldn't grab him for some reason. He's got him. He got him. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is bunch them all together. Okay, they're all going to come together, and then I'm going to do this when I'm ready. They're all in the area. So now we can put everyone back where they were. Another archer. We'll have the archer behind us again. How are we looking here? No one around us? Okay. Seems to work on them as well. Yeah, he's hit he's hitting this guy. This guy this guy needs healing. We're healing. They've all got their buff. Still think this guy here. I still think he needs to be back here. He's an archer. Maybe both of the archers. Oh, we're all good. We're all good. Everyone's happy. 
Right now, let's see, we've got 880 crystals. Now we can only take 500 of them back with us, but we're using most of them here for the path. Will she make it? That is another thing as well. Yes, we didn't move her in the first part, but that means she's got longer to travel. Will she make it in time? We need to be wary about that. So it's almost it's almost sundown. Where is she? She's here. She's not going to make it. So we have to tell her to stop. So that is another thing as well. Yes, we thought we'd know she wasn't going to make it to start with. So we never moved her. And because we never moved her, she had longer to travel the second time round. So it is it is something to think about to actually move them. Moved them even to a, a small section. So now we've got to uh, now we've got to fight again. Okay, so everyone is everyone's healed. Uh, okay, so I think they I think they're good here. I think they were good here. That was a good. That's something we learned. Okay, so we're gonna leave her there. We're gonna have to fight again, guys. We're gonna have to fight again to see if we're gonna come back out. These pop up. These pop up to give us some extra shit. <laughs> oh, legends. Okay, guys, so they're protected by the barrier. This barrier's here. I guess this woodcutter's not really moving, so we could probably change his role to an archer. Uh, stick him behind the barrier as well. We've only just got this guy here. They're not really going to go this way because... The path is the other way. And I'll cover the paths. I'll cover the paths. Right, no one's gone down there yet. And what I'll do, because they're right next to me anyway. I think maybe that one archer didn't... Oh, he did get the buff. Okay. Enemy's getting closer. So we're just checking around everywhere, guys. See if anyone anyone escaped. You can see on the map, but you can also check. See if anyone escaped. Are we looking for health? There's our health. We're just going to go around. This guy needs uh, more health. We've got him. These guys are protected behind here. This guy isn't really behind it. Behind here a little bit, and he's fine. This guy, you can still get him from here, can't he? Let's bring him back a little bit. So this is all about strategy. I'd never played a game like this before. I've seen games similar to this, but I've never seen anything where you control your character at the same time as well, rather than just sitting back and watching and just holding your hands up, saying I've set everything up. I've just got to watch now. But this game, for me, absolutely unique. And like I said earlier, this is the selling point for me. I can see myself playing this game for many, many hours. And we will be playing this on my Twitch streams as well. Because this is something that I feel like I could easily talk people through. And enjoy our time on it as well. Definitely, definitely a relaxing kind of game as well. To the point where we are... Uh, setting our stall up and we can hold back if we want obviously one of the achievements in the first level was get 50 kills with the villagers so we could just hang our controller up and just watch the villagers do their damage but you get an idea of what the game is like right now don't you guys uh basically we're upgrading our characters we could change their roles if we want if we want to change their roles we can do that on the fly as long as we've got enough crystals We're relying on the villagers to get the uh, the airborne zom uh, zombies. Seaf. The airborne seath. How are they looking? These are good. These are good. Okay, we're good. We made it to daybreak. Oh, we've already carved the path. Go and get yourself over there. We shouldn't need... Oh, I've told her to stop. Oh, what an idiot. Move. There you go. 
That could have cost us. Uh, there's no way we were going to do another round, surely. <laughs> I told her to stop and I was speeding up time. There she is. She made it to the gate. She made it to the Tory gate. So this level we had two gates that we had to um, purge. So there's going to be there's going to be different uh, number of gates on each level as well. So the first one obviously we have one gate. This one we had two, and it showed you how important it was to move Yoshiro, even if we were not going to reach the gate because we had to wait for a second round of seat because she wasn't close enough so you think about stuff like that but obviously we got more we got more uh, orbs out of that skilled in the healing arts the uh, the shaman performs a ritual dance oh okay so we've got a healer now this is a healing mask uh, we've got five wasubi as well don't use any rations oh that's a tough one that is a tough one we, we don't want to let them die assign villagers Three or more different roles. So now we've got the Shaman as well. Archer, Woodcutter and the original thing that I can't pronounce. Destroy all pots. So we missed, I missed some pots then. Okay. That's awesome. Unlocked the extra stage. There we go. Okuyu... Okumiyama. Okumiyama. There we go. Passage. There we go. Thank you for playing. So purchase the full game because this is the demo of Kunitsugame, Path of the Goddess, or return to the game. So this demo allows you to play the next stage as well. What I'm going to do though, what I'm going to do is we're going to leave it there. I just wanted to show you the fundamentals of this. Obviously, we've got the base here. We've got the boss fight. We can play again. Uh, we can get the more achievements from this level or we can jump in again. And now we know what the achievements uh, are in the three we can um, we can go for those. This is the mountain, guys. This is the mountain. Look how big that game is. And remember the replayability as well. Once we unlock more um, more classes, is going to be incredible. I can't wait to get myself stuck into this game when it comes out on the 19th of July. That was incredible. I genuinely, genuinely loved playing that. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. If you played this game, uh, please let me know if you had reservations before you played the game and how you feel after you played the game. This is the demo of Kunitsugame, Path of the Goddess. I love this game and like I said earlier, I have not played tower defense games before and that's how it was described to be and I was thinking, oh, so this is going to be a point and click kind of thing and I'm going to have to sit back and relax. I don't think I could enjoy that as much as I think I would. And you know what? Absolutely loved it. Loved it because you've got the element of the action as well. So it's a strategy game, but it's action as well. We are carrying around Soa as our main character. He's running around, hacking and slashing everything. And we're setting up the NPCs to do their jobs. If Whether it's be a woodcutter, a archer... A shaman now that we've just unlocked uh, and also the first one as well which i still can't pronounce but uh the you know, the barrier man the barrier man is what i've called him and uh the, the fact that we can set them up and just sit back and relax and watch them fight um uh, is kind of the tower defense kind of games that people describe to me uh but the fact we can control soa and run around and hack and slash uh absolutely elevates the gameplay uh level for me which i think is absolutely awesome it makes me want to play it and i'm so glad that we can run around as well as set up the uh, the strategy that was um that was kanitsugame path of the goddess capcom invited me to their offices to play this before the demo was announced and released and uh, i really really loved it i instantly knew this is something i'm going to be streaming over on my twitch channel so please come on over follow me on twitch ts villa same as the youtube channel here um yeah, so guys, if this is something you're picking up, this is available on the 19th of July. Let me know, guys. Let me know. Uh, if you haven't already, please like this video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. We're trying to get to 500. We are so close. Your subs matter. Guys, until my next video, I will see you. Take care.